Hi everybody. Um, I have embarked on a series of Missouri 411. Um, there's a lot of missing persons in the area of where I live. Um, a lot of unsolved cases. Some of them are old. Some of them are really new. Um, and this one is right here close to my hometown. Um, because some of these are ongoing cases, you can't really say a whole lot about the names. You can't say a whole lot about the cases. So, um, in the videos that you're going to watch, um, I want you to understand that these missing people are, they're still somebody's daughter. They're somebody's son. They're somebody's mother. They're somebody's father. There's somebody's sister, uh, somebody's brother, um, somebody's grandchild, aunt, uncle, um, somebody's best friend. And in the videos that you will see, because you're going to probably see the same introduction for both, for any of the videos that I put out, I want you to understand um, this series that I'm putting out. Um, the young lady in question has been missing for almost a year now. She actually went missing close by where I'm sitting for, at right at this moment. And um, a lot of speculation about what happened. Um, I have to be very careful about how I work things because the investigation is still ongoing. Um, some people believe one thing, some people believe another. It depends on which way you fall and who you follow. So, in the end, she's still somebody's daughter and she's still somebody's mother. And there are people out there that do know what exactly happened. They know the truth. And Here's the hoping that we can bring her home. Because it is an ongoing case, we are going to cut out anything that um, leads to her name. So I will not be disclosing her name. But I am going to be doing a necrophonic session here. Um, one of the places she used to come when she was younger. So, um, and hopefully she will also come through here. We've had her come through at several places. Um, I've been working closely with um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this around and start up a necrophonic session um, in which she has validated that the person speaking was her by answering some questions that only she would know the answer to so we do know just from that alone that we are possibly speaking to her a lot of people question how do you know that that's the person you're speaking to that is how validating by questions that only they would know um, another thing is people ask is why does the person talk one time and not the other? Sometimes spirits are just like us. They don't want to talk. They don't want to, you know, there's a gentleman working here. So you're going to hear the vehicle. You're going to, um, you know, just like us. We have our days. We don't want to talk. We don't want, um, we're just down, depressed. Um, we don't want to deal with with things and sometimes spirits are being blocked from being able to talk and in the spirit world they have to be able to have the energy to be able to do it or maybe it's a case where they just aren't where you are at at that time so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and do a spirit session here and like I said where you hear cuts in the audio 
it's because I'm cutting out pertinent information that cannot be disclosed. Okay? Hello? Are you here? How are you doing? Do you have anything you'd like to tell me about this place? Can you tell me where you are now? Can you tell me any of the names of your children? Time this pickup is going to find me. This one's stopping. I'm getting uh, a little nervous, guys. It's slowing, both slowing way down. A hill. Can do you know who's in those pickups? Guys, I'm gonna move this to my car. Just to be safe. Okay, I'm getting in my car. And I'm locking my doors. Seatbelt. Do I need to have my seatbelt on? Yes. Do I need to leave?
Do you know who was in those trucks? The first truck was a white truck with, like, crew cab with, like, one of them hard bed covers. The other one was a big, dark, either dark blue or black pickup, like, four-door. I should have kind of flashed the phone up at them. Can you tell me the names of your children? Can you tell me anything about this area? Leave. Do I need to leave? Is there some place that we need to look for you? Can you tell me the name of your friend that was with me earlier? When you do the Necrophonic app and you listen back, you hear so many things. That's why I don't cut in so much. Because you hear so much more when you're listening with headphones than you do while it's going live that you miss. It is unbelievable, guys. So when you listen to the video, I highly suggest headphones. Like that little bit of sentence, I don't understand what it is. I probably will understand it with the headphones.
can you tell me how old you are? If you're noticing, guys, I'm not going to acknowledge when she does say uh, something that may be correct because I don't want to lead things, um, you know what I mean, because this is ongoing. There is something coming in the distance. I don't know what it is, but I see the dust. Go home. If I go home, will you talk to me there? Message. Do you have a message for me? Sorry about that, guys. I've tried to turn that off, and it will not turn off notifications. I've turned the notifications off, and they still come across. I don't know why. Sweetheart. Are you uh, Are you in I guess there's a mailbox right there. Okay. Yes. Bathroom. Yes. Uh. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, guys, that pickup is actually pulled into this driveway down here. I think I need to go. Alright guys, I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to end this. Well, yes, bye. I need you to come talk to me at my house. Can you please do that? I welcome you. None of the other spirits are welcome to attach themselves to me or follow me. You have to stay here. You can talk to me and commune with me anywhere that I seek her. I want to thank everybody for talking to me today. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, guys, I turned this around facing me. Um, the pickup, they went by, well, the white one went by me once and then they came back out with the dark colored one and these went really slow and then the dark colored one came back part way pulled down this one driveway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this camera in my uh, my this phone in my thing on the windshield and I'm going to let it record in case they come up behind me um, not that I'm worried really about it. It's just that um, I am kind of in a really rural area. My other phone, I do need to have my GPS going to get me back out of here. Um, again, I will not disclose where I am exactly. I will not be disclosing who the 411 Missouri missing person is because it is an ongoing case. You will not be hearing... The name, I will not be verifying yes or no that uh, any of the names or any of the information that comes through is pertinent or any of that. I cannot do that um, because it is an ongoing case. But everybody, thank you for watching and I'm going to close this out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this phone in my uh, holder on my windshield and let it record just because the kind of people that uh, is down here. Uh, it's not a good deal. Bye, guys.